Okay, welcome to Studio Jakara E, and this is the uh, Jakara E Working Group Elections Edition. And with me uh, here today, I have uh, Martijn uh, Verberg uh, from the London Java community. And Martijn, uh, will you please introduce yourself? Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, yep, yeah, as uh, Eva said, my name is Martijn. Uh, I am the representative for the London Java user group uh, on a number of standards bodies and other initiatives uh, around the world. So uh, as an example, I help run Adopt Open JDK, which is the new very popular Open JDK distribution. Uh, I sit on the Java standards body, uh, which is called the JCP on the executive committee there. And I currently, currently sit on the steering committee for Jakarta EE as well. Okay, thank you. So you're involved in a lot of uh, open source uh, initiatives. So you mentioned OpenJDK and you mentioned the JCP uh, and, and as well as uh, Jakarta EE. Why do you think it's important for community members to engage in this kind of open source groups? Yeah, so I think traditionally, let, let's call it 10 years ago, I forget the exact timeline, there wasn't a huge voice for the end user, which was the day-to-day -day Java engineer or the day-to-day -day, uh, SRE who was running Java workloads. Um, so, you know, all of the standards bodies, et cetera, were heavily dominated by vendors, which, which wasn't necessarily a terrible thing, but the user voice was, was missing. Uh, and so the London Java user groups policy starting about seven or eight years ago was to try and ensure that the user group voice, so we're one of the Java user groups around the world, uh, was heard loud and clear uh, at these at these bodies so that the user's uh, interests could be put, uh, put first and foremost on the table. Yeah, so uh, and what impact do you uh, hope that the London Java community and, and you will be able to make on the Jakarta EE? Uh, it's really about bringing some of the kind of market and end user reality to some of the discussions that are going on uh, around, you know, uh, for example, there was a discussion around how to change the Jakarta EE namespace uh, when, when we inherited everything from the Java EE, right? Do we go for the, the big bang approach and, and take the pain once or do we spread the pain out over several years? And, uh, you know, the, the voice from the user community was very clear that they wanted to, to take the hit once uh, and be able to cut over and do a new thing. So to have our voice at the table to represent that concern as, as just one of many examples uh, of, of where we can have a, a good impact on, on Jakarta EE going forward. Okay, thank you. That's, that's interesting. And uh, do you have any, uh, your motivation for doing this open source, uh, uh, does it have any impact or have had any impact on your career uh, to participate in all these groups? Uh, absolutely. It's a hugely positive thing. Um, my entire career has been pretty much based on uh, open source communities and projects and uh, my commercial career because of it has, has uh, you know, done very well uh, out of it. Uh, it helped me start my company, J Clarity, uh, which recently got acquired by Microsoft. And so now I'm the uh, engineering manager of Microsoft for Java, uh, the runtime there. So uh, it's, it's a pretty direct impact. And that was all, all coming primarily from the open source work I do. Yeah, that's uh, super impressive. So, so uh, we could say that if you want to make your career uh, in, in, uh, in, in today's IT or in, in today's uh, industry then then going through open source and engaging getting a name there is really helpful yeah it's certainly certainly a strong path if if, if the career is is, if, is an, of interest to you then certainly it's it's can you do you no know harm it's for sure yeah. and uh you're running for a seat at the steering committee in the jakari working group uh, as a representative from for the london java community Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, how do you see the difference with the steering committee or, or the various committees in, in Jakarta EE if you compare it to the other groups you are in? Um, so you can tell the, the, the more open and more egalitarian nature of the Jakarta EE working group uh, as, as opposed to other more formal, you know, very heavily vendor controlled and, and IP and, and legally controlled uh, standards bodies. So at Jakarta EE, you really have a sense of that there's so everyone, is, everyone is, is an equal, everyone's a first amongst equals, so to speak. Um, and, you know, the, the concern really is for ensuring that what Jakarta EE delivers uh, over the next year, two years, five years, ten years, is truly going to be fit for purpose for, for you know, cloud native first developers going forward, uh, as an example. And um, because the TCK is open now and because all the specs and things are, are out in the open, um, it, 
means there's, there's a real focus on, on building the right APIs and going and doing the right things as opposed to, you know, uh, a lot of the, those kind of legal wranglings and concerns about patents and all that sort of stuff that used to go on in the past. So it's refreshing. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. That's good to hear. And we talked a little about uh, uh, before we started that uh, uh, we should come up with a uh, slogan for you uh, to help your uh, campaign. And I have a suggestion. Uh, it's uh, it, it could be uh, vote for the vo voice of the end user community. That, that would be a, a very accurate statement. So uh, just to clarify for people, so there's about seven and a half thousand uh, engaged Java developers in the London Java user group. And it's probably fair to say that ourselves and the Brazilian user group, so Java, we sort of act as proxy voices for the global Java user group community, which, you know, uh, some estimates would be put at, you know, several hundred thousand uh, users. And sort of we take the feedback from everyone and try and, uh, you know, channel that, that feedback into, into standards bodies like this. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much and uh, best of luck in the elections and I hope to see you in, in the steering committee very soon. Cool, great to catch up as always. Thanks, Eva. Thank you. Thanks.